Hey y'all, Cup Naked Boy here with another dip video for y'all. Um, I want to go ahead and first apologize for not uploading like I normally do, but um, I just had a whole bunch of stuff going on. Um, Christmas, shopping, you know, BS. Um, but yeah, we're getting ready for Christmas. We still don't have a tree though. It's the only downside. <laughs> um, we still need to go get a tree. I don't know when they stop selling trees. They probably don't. But if I have to, I'll go cut down a pine tree or something. They're like, here y'all go, there's a Christmas tree, even though it's just a regular old pine tree from my backyard. But, um, yeah, normally we just go buy a tree, and we'd normally have one by now, but, um, I don't know. I don't know why we don't have one. But, um, yeah, before I get into the video, I'm gonna go ahead and pack a look. And I don't have my mud jug out here, so I'm just gonna spit on my porch. And for y'all who think walking under ladders is bad luck, I did it two times, so apparently I have bad luck. I'm not superstitious. For all you people who are superstitious, um, uh, if you ever meet me and you tell me not to walk under something because it's bad luck, I will do it either way. But, um, <laughs> dang it, um, me, I'm going to get on one subject really quick about superstitions. Me, I'm not a very superstitious person. I don't have many superstitions. I don't believe in that black cat bull crap where you have to hop out your car, do all this other stuff, or... You see a black cat run in front of your car. If I see a black cat run from my truck, I'm probably either just gonna run it over or let it pass by. If I run it over, oh well. But um, yeah, I'm not a very superstitious person, and if you are a superstitious person, well, all I gotta do is this: walk straight under this ladder and then walk back. So if you're superstitious, I, to be honest, I don't care. I just did it four times. And if you say that's four years of bad luck, I'll be like, all right, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> but um, I don't believe in bad luck. I don't believe in good luck. I mean, there's only one thing that I do believe. If you find a penny on the heads, is obviously good luck. It's probably the only thing that I do believe. I mean, to be honest, bad luck and good luck, um, I really don't see no... I don't really see why people go, oh yeah, you are, you just have bad luck. Um, I've never understood why people always called people that are having a bad day saying they just have bad luck today. To be honest, we all have bad days, but it's not with your it's not all about luck. Um and tonight we're going to Anderson, South Carolina. And I'm pretty sure you can guess where we're going. Uh you ain't even really got to think that hard. It's a well-known place. And, um, just so if you don't figure it out within the video, we're going to Crybaby Bridge. <laughs> um, yeah, great. Fuck. You gotta love ghosts, right? Considering that I, I am a person that believes in supernatural occurrences. Because, um, my house is haunted still. Um, you can't see, but this door right here where that light is, that door, every time it's unlocked and I'm not recording or doing anything and I'm just playing on my phone, it opens up by itself, no matter what's going on. Like, I could be out here just chilling, 
and I'll be about to, I'm about I'm about to be packing a dip and then out of nowhere it goes and just creep up and and it's a brand new door too so it creeps and um yeah that door just creeps open and um yeah and um I still I still have voices that pop up out of the blue whenever I'm inside my house like it's not demonics or anything um it's mainly just like like a calm voice like you know how people go hey hey what are you doing like that and um mainly i just hear my name and they're like just dead in such a calm voice and it's like a faint echo like it's far away and I can hear it as clear as day, and then it's like, what the fuck? Um, but yeah. I mean, if you come to my property, you probably won't believe that it's haunted, because, I mean, it's 22 acres, but I live right next to a church. That's probably the reason why but everybody wants to take my damn car to cry baby because um well apparently my car's faster but no we're not taking my goddamn car to cry baby because i know who's gonna want to drive bra big ounce aka our buddy brock and he's gonna do the same stupid shit that he does but i'm not saying that he's an idiot i'm not saying that he's stupid but he just does too much crazy shit and it takes forever to get where we need to go I was supposed to be home by 3 o'clock this afternoon. Brock was driving, which was a bad idea to let him drive. Because he takes the most... He takes all the ways that I don't want to go. And the uh, ways that he wants to go. When I'm driving, I take the quickest ways to get where I need to go. And then I get them where they need to go. And then I go home. And, um, I take the ways I need to go to get everybody where they need to go, and then I go home. I'm going home. I don't give a fuck. But, I'm prepared to get the shit scared out of me tonight. So, if y'all hear from me, either I'm dead or I had a heart attack in the damn car. All I can say is just fucking pray for me. <laughs> just fucking pray for me. So I hope you got all, nothing happens to my ass, cause I I really don't feel like dying right now. I've only been alive for sixteen years. Been chewing for three. But um, ever since I've been doing stuggers, I've been getting like a Levi Garrett type taste with the with it sitting in for a little bit if any of y'all have tried this wintergreen and you get like a citrusy taste and then like tell me if you get like a wintergreen type taste or a um or whenever it sits in your mouth for a while tell me if you get like a um Levi Garrett type taste like Levi Garrett chew and if y'all haven't chewed, then chewed Levi Garrett, then don't buy, don't, just don't worry about it. Um, cause some of y'all may not know what Levi Garrett tastes like, but I used to chew the shit out of Levi Garrett, um, about a year ago. And, um, <sighs> yeah, um, I mean, Levi Garrett is my favorite chew out of all I haven't had any any terrible chews but I want to I want y'all if y'all have tried a lot of chews see me I don't I've only tried a couple of red man and Levi Garrett I get Levi Garrett original I think it is I'm not sure but I also get red man original and then I get it red man golden blend 
if y'all can tell me your five worst shoes, um, I'll probably take one shoe from each comment. And if I don't have any other comments down below of the top five worst shoes they've had, I will just use one of y'all's comments. Make make a top five worst shoes in your own opinion from this video. And um, just use one comment. If not, I don't have any other comments down below if y'all ain't tried. And I probably might disagree with some of them. Um, Southern Pride, I think it was. A chew. Um, Southern Pride chew. I don't know. I can't even remember the name of it. I know it had something Southern in it. I think it's Southern Pride chewing tobacco. And it was loose leaf. As all chewing tobaccos are. And um, it was good. Um, but yeah. Leave a comment down below your top five worst shoes of all time, and I will make the video on it. And, um, well, since, since we're going to Crybaby tonight, all I can say is, um, we're probably taking a uh, big ounce of BMW, and I still got to get a head, my headlights still out in my truck. So I can't use that because I'll get fucking pulled over regardless. And, um, so I'm not going to drive my truck. Um, I'm just going to get them to pick me up because I don't feel like driving. And we're not taking my car. So, I mean, all it's really going to be filled with is fear and fucking fright, frightening shit, but, um, yeah, if y'all want me to um, record when we get there, leave a comment down below, and I will make sure that happens, so I will record when we get there, just in case we do see some shit. Um, well, just in case we don't see anything and I'm recording, I can catch it all on video. Because apparently over near Crybaby is the most haunted area in Anderson, South Carolina, or... Well, no, 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 no. I take that back. Um, besides the bridge, it's the old church. It's haunted, too. Um, I don't know if that church is... Is, like, the most haunted church in the U.S. or something like that, um, but... Yeah, um, leave me a comment down below if you want me to record on while while we're up there at the bridge and see if I can't get the girl on camera. So yeah, if you want me to record, look comment down below. And I hate saying it over and over and over because I feel like an idiot. <laughs> but um, don't forget to leave top five worst shoes of all time in your opinion down below, and then comment down below if y'all want me to record while we're up there on the bridge and no matter what y'all are doing 24 7 always pack a lip or a cheek and i'll catch y'all in the next video